And on that, um, part of Harry's speech at the Stand Up for Heroes benefit this week, he did try and make light of his rather tumultuous year. Here it is. Obviously, I was deeply honoured when Bob asked me to debut my stand-up act with you all tonight. I was so relieved to be invited back, but then I started to question whether his invite for me to actually do stand-up was in fact his idea of a joke. Either way, due to the shockingly low representation of gingers last year, and out of respect for my fellow endangered species, here I am, reporting for duty. Bronte. You know, comedy is often a good way of dealing with serious issues. Uh, how do you think his um, his speech overall was pitched, and do you think it landed with the audience? This is Harry at his absolute finest. He said it at the top of the show, Caro, and this is Harry speaking to the military community where he feels the most comfortable. They're his people. He's so inspirational to them, and he uh, gets inspiration from them also. And he's being funny. That's the Harry we miss so much. That's the Harry that everyone loved back in the day. And that self-deprecating humour, that, that self-awareness is something that just seems to have been lacking so much, especially over the last year. So watching that clip was almost a relief to say, ah, he's still in there he can still make a joke about himself he can still be silly and it was exactly that uh, it was so well received it got huge laughs at the time and this is Harry doing exactly what he should be doing it's exactly what he does best and it's a reminder of why we all loved him so more of that please Harry just more of that <laughs> And Louise, I think that's pretty fair, right? Like, we've we've had enough of the airing of the laundry that's been oh, very serious and very unfun and not great in, you know, for family relations, so to speak. Um, but this is the Harry of old, isn't it? It is, absolutely. And, and to Bronte's point, it's the Harry that we love. And he's so comfortable. He, I've often felt that sort of watching back um, elements of the Oprah interview, he, he sort of... He, he sort of makes his point, but he doesn't seem entirely comfortable, whereas, of course, Megan just goes off, off piste all the time and is more than happy to bag her in-laws. But Harry's very much in his comfort zone when he's, he's doing that sort of mick take on himself, when he's sort of, you know, he, it's that English humour, which, of course, Megan would try to understand, but it's not in her blood the way it is for Harry. So, you know, it, it's a great look for him to be more humorous and be more down-to-earth, definitely, rather than spiteful and vengeful.